How was that? Woo! Man! You almost got me! Well, this is Alan's race truck right here. Woo! Almost got Santa. Just a little bit. Yeah. So another rig that was given, kind of, $80 purchase. I can't breathe. <laughs> uh, I have what doctors call a little bit of a weight problem. Tell us about the rig, Alan. So actually, uh, someone, not going to name any names, gave it to me about five years ago. So called me, told me, hey, this guy's dropping off a truck, needs a rear end. So went in on Saturday, put a rear end in it, got it rolling, showed up on Monday. He actually gave it to someone else. I bought it for 80 bucks. I gave it to Alan. Then I took it back and gave it to Zach. Zach built it, the whole shop built it, raced it for a while, and then when it was time for Zach to leave the, the uh, state of California, Alan got it back. I think probably got the better end of the deal because he did a couple things to it well, uh, since I had it last. A few things uh, that are pretty important. You want to check them out? Show us, show us the things. So, it came with a couple goodies. Watch that. No big deal there. Pretty nice. So, we should probably start with what's under the hood. All right. Oh, you got nice hood pins, we got too. Pins. Where do you go with this? Right on the roof? Uh, we got a radio up there. Just put it on the ground. Here. All right, here. So, here's the heart of it. We got a 5.3 Texas Speed Torque or 2 cam. You know, nothing special. Stock junkyard motor with a cam in it. So, 5.3 with a 4L60E. 65E. Ooh, and then a 241 transfer case came out of the donor truck, right? Uh... They're all pre-owned. Um, one train is out of Escalade. This is actually out of the farm truck, kind of famous. I mean, there's a lot of cool things. This is a unibody, but it's got air bumps, got coilovers in the front. Radiator's been moved to the back. The stock Chevy uh, gas tank's in the back. Um, how, how fast is it? Uh, we just got going, what, 65 on the way here. That's about it so far. So this is uh, the budget rig. And uh, if you go out to NorCal Rock Racing, you'll see them. It's been out there four or five years in a row now. Yeah. So hopefully this season we got some real races. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get, get it on. <laughs> well, enough about the truck. Alan, how long you been at WFO? So been working at WFO about 15 years now. And what do you do here? Uh, well, I did do rear ends. You have your hands all over everybody's rear ends. Until I got married, had to tighten up a little. Do you like the tight rear ends or the loose ones? We do have the tightest rear ends in the business. We do have the tightest rear ends in the business. So, uh, Tell us, is there anybody you need to thank or talk to about this truck? So there's a few guys that really helped me out. Um, first would have to be Sierra Gear and Axle. So we did a 44 front, a nine inch rear. Um, they set me up some 538 gears, 543s in the rear. A uh, spool, Eaton came through, set us up with a true track up front. Um, helped a lot, it really hooks up now. What about your engine sponsor, Alan? So, Engine came from, you know, pretty famous guy, the farm truck. He's kind of a big deal. So he set me up the pre-owned engine, certified, after I blew the last one up. Um, came with the cam, ready to go. I think it even had oil in it. Absolutely. All right, everybody, watch for this truck at NorCal Rock Racing this year. And until next time, see ya.